basically there are three main steps in creating odk form online one is creating an excel form two is uploading the excel form online to obtain the odk form and lastly we have obtaining and downloading the odk form So guys, remember our first step was creating an Excel form. This Excel form is what we will upload to get the ODK form. So to create the Excel form, I will use an example of a questionnaire. This is a questionnaire section with two types of questions mainly. We have questions with choices and questions without choices. For example, the first question is a question without a choice where you, the interviewer has to write his or her name. We have another type of question like the physical address. It's a question without a choice where one has to write a specific answer. We have debt registered, serial number in the facility registered. All those are, are questions without choices. Then we have the questions with choices like gender for example we have choice one and two choice one is male choice two is female you have marital status choice one is married choice two is single choice three is divorced you have the nationality choice one is kenyan choice two is non-kenyan choice three is specified nationality so this choice questions one has to select either one or two depending on the type of question so to create the excel form we are going to open our excel when we open our excel i'm going to maximize it as you can see we have a default sheet we have a default worksheet named we have a default worksheet named sheet one so to create an excel form for the ADK, basically we need two worksheets. So we already have sheet one, we are going to add another one sheet. So to add another one sheet, you just tap, you just click on the button with the sign of a plus. So we have two sheets, we have sheet one and sheet two. So depending on the type of information each sheet will carry, we are going to rename these sheets. So usually sheet 1 carries the information about the questions that will appear in the ODK while sheet 2 carries the choices for the questions with multiple choices. So for sheet 1 we can rename it for example survey because it is going to contain our questions. For sheet 2 we can rename it choices. Choices because it is going to carry the answers for the choices so we have two worksheets guys we have the survey worksheet and the choices worksheet so in the survey worksheet we are going to have three columns in the first column we are going to have the type in the second column we are going to have the name and in our last column we are going to have the label in the type column, we are going to specify the type of variables that each question will address. In the name column, we are going to specify what will appear in the database of ODK. Usually, in many statistical softwares, variables should be having one names. They should be having one names. For example, in our questionnaire, the variable age or gender they are having one name so that is okay but what of, what of variables like name of interviewing person it is not a one name variable so what should we do in such a scenario in such a scenario we are going to use underscore an underscore is a sign we get when we long press shift and the hyphen key of our keyboard so in making it a one word we can decide to omit words like of we have omitted it then we can now add the underscores shift and the hyphen key then between the interviewing and the person we can also so add an underscore 
so this one is like a one variable the database of the odk or any other statistical software can read this as a one variable which is the requirement in many databases for the label we are going to write the questions exactly how they should appear in the odk or how they should be displayed in the odk so here we, sh we should just write the questions the way they should be for example it will be the name of the interviewing person name of the interviewing person so the only difference here is that we don't have the underscores we don't use the underscores because this is exactly what the odk will display as the questions so the type here we said for the name of interviewing person the type of variable is text because it involves alphabetical characters now let's go to the next question and do the same using the same guidelines we have just so seen so our question number two is the physical address <coughs> again the physical address is not a one word so in the name column we are going to write it as physical physical underscore address the type of the variable is text and the label the way it should be displayed in the odk is physical address so let's look at another example the nationality it follows the same format select one nationality then the name will be nationality the label we have three choices for nationality as we can see in the questionnaire we have the kenyan and kenyan and specify nationality kenyan and kenyan and specify nationality so sorry let's for gender let's begin all the choices with a small letter male and female let's begin all of them with a small letter so given this questionnaire as an example with the following 11 questions in your excel you are supposed to come up with some little something like this if you have been keenly following the guidelines where we have the type name and label in the choices worksheet we have three columns also we have the list name we have the name and the label in the list name we just mention the variables so our first variable with choices is sex is gender so you can name it gender because in our questionnaire we have gender not sex we have gender so gender has two choices we have choice one and two so because gender has two choices in the list name you will write gender two times gender gender and the name you will number the choices we have number one and number two in the label you will name the choices corresponding with the numbers for example choice one was male choice two was female let's go to the next question with choices which is marital marital has three choices so in the list name we will write it three times marital 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 in the name one two three then we have married single divorced or separated just exactly as in the questionnaire our next question with more than one choice is the nationality the nationality we have kenyan non-kenyan and specify nationality so we have choice three which is specify specify let all of them be in small letter specify nation nationality 
specify nationality so after doing all this work in both the survey and choices you need to save this work in any location of your choice so I would recommend saving it in your desktop so when saving make sure the file type remains excel workbook you can save it in your preferred name so in my case I've named it form underscore excel then I will save it in my desktop don't worry because I already had the file that's why it's bringing an option of replacing it so after this work after doing this work we have our file here in the desktop now what remains is to upload the file online so guys remember our last step was uploading the excel form online so to upload the excel form online you first need to have an active internet connection so you can connect your laptop to an android hotspot or you can use an ethernet cable so you will have to open your browser and search for this word as they appear in this screen exactly you will search odk form online after searching for the word odk form online so the right option is this one open data kit xls form online that is the right option so you click on that after clicking on that you can see this window we have an option where we have to choose the file so you come and click on choose file then you will have to remember the location where you saved your file in our case we saved ours in the desktop it is already in the desktop and it was named form underscore excel so you will double click on the form and wait it to upload so after uploading you click on submit so after submitting we want to preview the form so you can click on preview first before downloading it so to preview the form you can see our form has come as an odk form with all the questions in it so because of time we can download the form, the x form thinking of